Hey everyone, and welcome back to DIY with Melissa. I, of course, am Melissa, and I have another design space tutorial for you. This time we're going to discuss slicing. I have had a few people who have tried my tutorials, and in the midst of doing so, the slice function is grayed out, and they can't understand why. So I thought it would be a good one to explain, because there are from what I understand, two different reasons why the slice function won't show up. We're going to start off by bringing in a heart into design space. And I'm going to bring in the word love. Put this in the middle of this heart. Now, looking at this, this heart image looks like one flat image. However, it is a multi-layered image. As you can see, there's four layers to this one project. If we try to select everything, you'll see our slice function has disappeared. It's grayed out. Why is that happening? The reason being is that because we have all these layers, four layers plus the word love, that's now five layers, Cricut can only slice through two layers. So how would I go about slicing the love out of this portion of my image? You're first gonna go ahead and ungroup the heart. Once you ungroup the heart, you're gonna select the layer that you want to slice from. And you're gonna select the word love. Now our slice function shows up, so I can go ahead and click on that. I would delete the excess, so it's the original word that I brought in, plus the part that was sliced from the design, and hit delete. And now, hopefully you can see this, the word love has been sliced out of this design. I can go ahead and select all the layers again, and group it. So now we have our one group with all portions in there. I'll go ahead and delete that. The other way to slice, so for instance, if you had multiple layers that you wanted to slice from, so we have our heart in here, and we'll go back to images, and I'm going to search up a palm tree. This is just for tutorial purposes, of course. I will bring this over like that and make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So now I want this design to be sliced out of each colored layer in this heart. So again, I'm going to go over to the heart and I'm going to ungroup the layers. And starting with the first portion, so the first portion of the heart, the red part, I'm going to select that and select the palm tree. How I'm doing that is by holding control on my keyboard and clicking the layers with my mouse. So I selected the first layer, I'm holding control on my keyboard, and I'm selecting the palm tree. And now I can click on slice. Before I do that, I just want to show you again all the layers selected, slice is grayed out. So we're going to do it one at a time, selected the two portions, and slice. What I highly recommend is when you're doing something of this sort, be very careful with how you're deleting things. I would not recommend moving things around in here. I like to use a layers panel, and in there I can select the portions I want to delete and delete. The alternative is slice everything else out and then delete everything at the end. Completely up to you. So our first portion is done. We're then going to select the yellow portion and the remainder of the palm tree and click on slice. And this is why I like to do it all at the end because I might have deleted that second part and would have to undo um, and bring it back in. I'm selecting the last bit of my design. 
the sliced result here and the green and slice. Now I can go ahead and delete all of these slice results. And I just deleted too much. Let's try that again. All of these slice results, like so. And there you have it. The palm tree is now sliced out of our heart. And I've just grouped everything together just to be able to move it around on my mat. That's two scenarios that you would have to look out for if you're trying to slice and it's not showing up. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the word summer. And I'm going to bring in those palm trees again. This time I'm going to scatter them on the word summer. I'm going to change the color to white so I can see it better. And I'm going to duplicate this for each letter. All right, that looks pretty good. Actually, I need to move this up. Okay. So now if I were to select all portions, you'll see again, my slice is gone. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm holding control with my keyboard and selecting each palm tree and then clicking on slice. How do I know which one that I need to grab next? You'll see the palm trees that not, have not been sliced yet are still named palm tree versus the one I slice says slice result. And the portion that you want to grab is your word summer each and every time. So I hope you can see it. It's a long portion here that I'm grabbing and slicing. So we'll go ahead and do each one. And again, I'm clicking, I'm holding control on my keyboard and clicking the layers in the layers panel. Now I can go ahead and delete all my access, not the word summer, but everything else. Do more. There we go. Perfect. And now we have the word summer with our palm trees sliced out of it. Of course, I could have done this a little bit better. I would clean this up with contour, etc. But this is just for this tutorial purpose. I wanted to show you how to go about slicing out of each letter and how to slice out of a, an image that has multiple layers. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope it helped you in some way. If it did, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos, and of course, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I love getting your feedback and giving me ideas of what else I can teach you. Until next week, have a fabulous week ahead. Take care. Happy crafting. Bye now.